Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. Fancy doing something again? I'd love to, Henry, but not just. You've got to let a girl catch up. Can I do anything to help? Hmm. Here I am, sir. What do you need, sir? I need you to do me a favor, Henry. Of course, sir. Good. Well, you'd never think it, but Zdena here is a demon at dice. She stripped me bare ass naked, and I couldn't even get a ribbon off her. <laughs> well, I'll rip everything off her then, eh? Good God! You do that to such a fragile flower? Who I paid for, by the way. Right then, you've got to beat Zdena at dice. I refuse to be the only one here with his ass on show. All right, why the hell not? How have you all been getting on here? Well, Lord Capon's been chasing us around a bit and so forth. Nothing we're not used to. How about a game of dice, then? Are you sure? What would I do with two naked men here? <laughs> Let's see how good you are. Goodbye. You're a brave soul taking me on. I'm not used to losing.
Why did you? Jeez, I can't bear to watch. No point in pushing it. That's it. No luck tonight. Are you afraid of wearing the spots on? <sighs> you haven't exactly gone off to a good start, have you? Bad move, but I'm proud of you anyway. Oh no! Bad luck, gentlemen. I suppose now you'll want me to strip as well to keep you company. Well, now that you mention it. Sorry to disappoint you. I have to sleep sometime too. I could do with a good soak too. Then strip off and hop in here. Uh, what, what with, with you, sir? That doesn't seem right. Don't worry, I've no interest in your hairy ass. Get in the tub or I won't talk to you. Oh, all right then. That's more like it. Put your clothes in the trunk. Shift over. Don't want to tread on anything vital. All right, just give me a moment and I'll roll it up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That feels good. Yeah, don't take this personally, but I've never seen a man more in need of a wash. <laughs> I've known cow paps less fragrant. <laughs> <laughs>
You certainly know how to have a good time. Here, yeah, drink. It's not terribly high quality, but it should do the job. I don't mind if I do. Give me that. That's the spirit. So this is how you recuperate from your injuries? Booze and wenches? Of course. Is there any other way? So, what news, Henry? Never mind about me. What about you? Have you recovered from our hunting adventure? I'm well enough, Henry. These baths are just the thing, and Zena here is very healing. You'll keep an eye on things here, won't you? Clara, bring some wine for the gents before they get cross. You know what, Henry? We really can't drink this local piss. Clara, my most favourite barfay. But must admit it, my dear. The wine you have here is pitiful. What's wrong with the bathhouse wine? I'd rather drink the bath water. You should go and get something better. So where? Ah, I know. In the cellars under the rat house, there's some excellent wine that Sir Hannish bought for us. And you want me to go there and get it now? I'd be indebted to you. And a grateful nobleman is the best ally you can have. Sorry, but I really don't have time for this now. Can't you just make do with the bathhouse wine? Absolutely not. I will have my silver and red from that cellar, even if it takes you a week to get it. We'll find some way of entertaining ourselves in the meantime. I'd like to ask you something about this wine. What is it? What, so I can just go there and take whatever I want? Yeah. No, not exactly. It would be best if no one saw you. Ah, I see. And this wine wouldn't be kept under lock and key by any chance? Um, yes, probably. But that won't stop a clever fella like you, will it? Which wine is it you want? The Sylvan Red. It's the very last keg on the right at the back. You'll recognise it easily. It's the only one that's tapped. All right. All right, then. I'll bring it. Good man. Sure.
Who's there? Answer me. Then. Mother of God! You've no business here. Clear off. Are you deaf? Hey!
What are you doing here? Clear off quick or I'll throw you out. Lost something here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards on you. Are you looking for someone? What the hell do you think you're doing? If you don't clear up quick. Hey you! What are you doing? Fuck off before I... What's up? Hey, who's there? Is someone there?
Hey. You've no business here. Clear off, or you'll be sorry. Can I do anything to help? Who are you? Hey, you! What are you doing? Fuck off before I lose my temper. Hey, you! Lord Capon sent me to get some wine for him. Lord Capon, eh? You clearly don't know Lord Capon. Do you think he's going to leave in the middle of his merriment to go and get his own wine? Ha! <laughs> no, that doesn't sound like the young lord. I suppose he sent you for the Sylvan Red. The very one. Well, you'll leave some for Sir Hanush at least, won't you? <laughs> I'll try.
So, about that wine you sent me for. Well, have you got it? Of course. You really broke into the cellar at the Rat House? I certainly did. I hope that wine's really worth the trouble I had. I don't believe it. You really broke into the cellar. You're insane. What? That was a trick? For fuck's sake, if they caught me, I'd have ended up in the stocks. If I was lucky. Nonsense, I wouldn't have let them. Oh, thank you for your concern. Well, let's see if this wine is as good as you say. What are you waiting for, the parish priest's blessing? Come on then, get it down you. Ah, now that's what I call a real wine. Silver and red. It's not like that donkey's piss they serve in this otherwise delightful establishment. You can tell from the first sip, can't you, Henry? Yeah, as you say, sir. Silver and red. The taste is unmistakable. Flowers. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What kind of um, flowers do you like? Ah, uh, well, I like all kinds. I like dandelions, uh, sage, knotweed, and poppies. I really like poppies. Oh, Henry, did you hear that? <laughs> what? The lady requests. D dandelions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, sage, mm -hmm. uh, cabbages. <laughs> That's not right. No, no, not weed and poppies. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you want me to go flower picking now? I know, I know. I'm putting you to work again. But if you do it, I'll give you... Grivensy Flob and Groschen. <laughs> so, that much. <laughs> All right. I'll go. Uh, uh, no. What was it she said? Sage something, something else, and uh, roses? Yeah, what would a bouquet be without roses? There's some in the upper castle garden.
hell are you doing here? I'd like some privacy if you don't mind. Come for my wench. Well, as you can see, I'm not your wench or anyone else's, so fuck off. What are you doing with my Clara, you cunt? Archie, stop that. He's just bathing here. Bathing here, is he? With all the wenches but you are whores. Archie. But are you whoring now, too? That's enough, Archibald. <laughs> Archibald? <laughs> you shut your mouth. I'm not done with you. No, I swear the gentleman hasn't touched me. Actually, that's quite true. Um, well, mostly. No, nothing happened. Nothing. We'll talk about this later. First, I'm dealing with this bastard. I'd like to see you try arson balls. <laughs> <laughs> awesome balls! <laughs> For the love of God, stop it, both of you! Fuck you now! Hey! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Jesus Christ! Fuck a yell! What the hell got into you? Trying to drown a nobleman. Oh shit. Fuck. <coughs> I, I didn't know. Get out of my sights. Go on before I remember I can have you hung. I apologize, your lordship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Archie, wait. Oh. Whew. I nearly got drowned by arson balls. <laughs> 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 oh, that's the least relaxing bath I've ever had. Fuck, I feel like I've swallowed the Baltic. Oh, drinking will be the death of you. Damn right. Is there any wine left? Are you out of your fucking mind? You want to carry on? Of course. Well, don't tell me you don't fancy a drink after all that. And what will you do with them, Sir Hans? <coughs> what, with arson balls? I don't know. What do you think I should do with them? He was drunk and insane with jealousy. I'm sure he'll be sorry when he sobers up. But he tried to drown a nobleman. I can't just let him off. He didn't know who you were. Anyway, if you let him off, you'll show that you're the better man. I suppose you're right. Fuck him. <laughs> but we had some pretty good sport, eh? Take care.
Good day to you. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Mm, I don't. Can I sleep here? Aye. For how long? Just the one. All right. That's two. Suit yourself. Can we do something about the price? Is this enough? That's a poor off. Satisfied? Well, a little more and we'll... Very well. What is it now? I've got information about your daughter-in-law. <laughs> Elishka's fine, only she needs... Never heard of her. Get lost. She's your nearest kin. Elishka's part of your family. She really needs you. I won't help anyone. I could make it worth your while. Really? And what is it you want? Your son's widow needs help. She has nowhere to go. What do I care about some useless girl? She could help you with the farm. She definitely knows how to take care of things. A bit of help would come in handy. Send her here then. But don't let her think she'll be taking it easy. She'll have her work cut out. That sounds quite... And if I hear a peep out of her, I'll take a stick to her back. I find salvation this way. give you up for.
God grant you health. You're not crying now? I'm not. I've wept enough for a life. It's a bit of a change since my last visit. I haven't had much luck in my life, but I've always worked things out in the end. Tears are no help to anything. That's true. So did you find out something about them? I did. I found your husband's father and mother, and uh, they're willing to take you in. But... They're, um... They're not very nice people, Elishka. They pro- Life is never- But at least I'd ha- You're right. I'll have another talk with Herman. May the Lord watch over you. Ilishka's looking back. She is, but she's not happy. Indeed. Did you know her whole family was wiped out by the plague? I... Losing... Ah. So, did you find... I have. I tracked them down. They... Leave that to her. I just hope she'll be better off than now. I've heard the way you talk about her, and, um... You know how... She was always the sweetest girl. When she came with her family to Ratai, still single, she was a sight to behold. And it might surprise you, but she even had a word or two for me now and again. It grieved me when she married that wastrel. It was a foolish idea, but I always thought maybe she and I could... Well, fate likes a good laugh. Now I've strung up her old man. I have her under my roof. I don't want her to leave, but... Can you help me with training? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basic. All right. Isn't that quite a... Are we agreed? I'd almost... Agreed.
Yes, but... Have you made your mind up? I can't decide. I don't know Mishikskin at all, but at least I'd... Herman could give you a family, too. He's a decent, upright fellow. I, but... but... And what's the problem? That the other women won't chat with you down at the creek? Did that... He's a fine man, isn't he? He's willing... To... And he wants you! He's so sick with love for you, he can't even sleep! But... He told me he's been in love with you for years. He said he always thought you were the sweet... That's true. We used to meet by all that's holy. Take care. Herman? Yes? Could I... Can I stay here with you? You mean for good? If, if, if you don't want me to... I... You can! By God, you can! Ah. <laughs> You've made me the happiest man in the world. <laughs>